Visionary entrepreneur and mythical popular icon Elon Musk has outdone himself again. Pushing his Fremont, California Tesla factory aside, he decided it was time to relocate his base. In 2014, Musk successfully introduced the Nevada Gigafactory, and yet another factory, one that is called a Terra Factory, has broken ground in Austin, Texas in a $1.1 billion production. This factory will not only continue the production of the Model 3 and Model Y cars, but will also be the genesis for manufacturing both the newest model, the Cybertruck, and the electric Tesla Semi-Truck. So why put all these resources into a new facility in Texas instead of the existing one in California? At the beginning of the 2020 pandemic, Bay Area businesses were forced to shut down due to orders from the Alameda County health officials. However, these orders did not deter Musk from resuming production at his factory in early May. When faced with pushbacks from the representatives in Alameda County, Musk threatened litigation, stating that the closures were inexplicable. He also cited an ordinance from the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, who had said previously that factories were entitled to reopen at their own discretion. Evidently tired of California's strict rules and taxes, Musk threatened to remove the Fremont factory from the state entirely. This move would have not only cost the state over a billion dollars, but it would also cause 10,000 employees to lose their jobs. California eventually conceded its impositions and so the factory still stands, for now. Despite California relinquishing, Tesla announced that its HQ will be moved from its home in the Bay Area to Texas, where he's in process of creating his new factory cathedral. Musk was also promised by the Texas governor and other state officials that he would run into none of the problems he did in California. They also told Musk that he would qualify for special tax breaks that would save him millions of dollars per year. The primary focus of the new Terra factory is, of course, the highly anticipated Cybertruck. Visually, it's one of the most polarizing vehicles of our time with its rigid and unconventional unibody, but even those against the style have to admit that the truck is going to change the game forever. The specs that come with the Cybertruck seem like something from a video game. It has a 30x cold rolled steel 3mm thick exoskeleton, which is a lot to unpack. Cold rolled steel is very strong, much more than the regular steel used for other cars. How much stronger? Up to 20%, with a tensile strength of 85,000 PSI. Musk has said that it stops dents, damage, and corrosion. This steel is also generally made much thinner than other steels without sacrificing strength. Really, the only disadvantage of using cold rolled steel is that it is much more expensive. Then again, we don't really see that affecting the price of the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck comes with many other amenities, such as the polymer-layered ultra-strong glass windows. But the most pioneering aspect of it is the all-wheel drive tri-motor feature. This powerful electric trifecta has the ability to tow up to 14,000 pounds, cruise for up to 500 miles on a single charge, and go from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, which is as fast as a McLaren Spider. The Cybertruck speed maxes out at 130 miles per hour, and with the 16 inches of ground clearance and its flexible approach and departure angles, it makes this truck a fearsome contender for off-road vehicles. Of course, the Cybertruck isn't the only electric truck trying to catch people's eyes. Competition in the form of the Rivian, the automaker that has been invested in heavily by both Amazon and Ford, totaling $1.2 billion. This company touts its two new arrivals, the R1T and the Bollinger B2. The former of the two trucks floats nearer the luxurious end as far as electric trucks go. It also has about 750 horsepower, which would be great if it wasn't just shy of the Cybertruck's 800 horsepower. The Bollinger B2 wins biggest truck bed being 8.1 feet long, but the only other category it's biggest in is the price tag at $125 thousand dollars. Other competitors include GM and Lordstown, but these companies' models apparently lack the required charisma to be highly anticipated by the public. Another unique vehicle rumored to be manufactured soon is the completely electric Semi-Truck. The Tesla Semi was announced and unveiled way back in 2017, 
but since then, its dates of production have been pushed farther and farther back. Finally, it was confirmed by Musk that the semi will be produced in volume at the new Terra factory in Austin. There will be two model options to choose from. The 300-mile distance battery at a cool $150,000 and a 500-mile distance battery costing no less than $180,000. Though these seem extremely pricey, and they are, looking at the average semi-truck price, these trucks are on the higher end of average. Nobody really looks at semi-trucks for the speed or acceleration, but this semi is nothing to laugh at. This truck can go from 0 to 60 in 20 seconds, and that's while carrying 80,000 pounds of cargo. Other perks include the four independent motors on each of the rear axles and over $200,000 in fuel savings. Both of the new electric trucks are actually sharing the public spotlight with the actual Terra factory itself. The new factory started breaking ground in mid-July, less than a week from Musk's announcement that it was going to even exist. Since then, Musk has begun the building process hyper-fast in an attempt to begin manufacturing right away. Upon completion, it'll provide a minimum of 5,000 jobs, not including the thousands made for construction already. According to Tesla, 65% of the jobs will be middle-skilled, meaning a college degree isn't necessary. These middle-skilled jobs will also start with a bare minimum of a $35,000 salary, average salary being $46,000, and the hiring process will give precedent to local residents and will be as inclusive in its diversity of employees as possible. The blueprints of the Terra factory are fascinating as well. The factory will actually be made up of three buildings with roads in between each large enough to allow semi-trucks to deliver large payloads. The 2,100 acres purchased for the building was actually an extremely calculated and strategic play. Tesla's Terra factory is located in an ideal location. It's 15 minutes from downtown Austin, it surrounds one of the state's main highways, and it's away from the influences of Silicon Valley, Musk said. What's more is how these new projects, the Cybertruck, Semi, and Terra Factory, are causing Tesla to boom on Wall Street. Despite the economy struggling to stay afloat during the COVID lockdowns, the company has managed to octuple its stock prices from $90 at the beginning of 2020 to its current value of $700, according to Forbes. In fact, Wall Street insiders have dubbed Tesla's shares as stocks of the year. This could be due to several reasons. One is because there is a less tapped market of electric pickup trucks and semis. These vehicles are ubiquitous in the US and Tesla has found a way to squeeze in between the dominating truck giants. Another could be the anticipation of the new Terra factory, as we saw how profitable the Giga factories have been, producing just barely under 500,000 cars in less than a year. But many believe the main reason for moving is that the tax breaks are huge. In Texas, Tesla would pay only $776,000 in property tax, which might seem like a lot, but compared to $14 million in California, it's not too shabby. But those numbers are nothing compared to Musk's personal income tax rebates he would get. For example, Musk could ostensibly get $55 billion in stock if his company reaches its market cap, which would give Musk personally a profit of $780 million. But with California's 13.3% income tax, he would have to pay the government about $104 million. I realize this sounds pretentious given Elon Musk's net worth and title of second wealthiest man in the world. I'm just a messenger trying to lay out reasons why he would move the company to Texas. Although the building process is far from being finished, reports say that Musk intends to complete the Terra factory by the end of 2021. Also, Musk says that production will begin before the Giga factory is completed and that by the end of 2021, will produce at least 100,000 Model Ys and Model 3s. Also by the end of 2021, it has been stated by Tesla that the first tri-motor Cybertrucks will hit the pavement and be driven off the lot by customers. Thinking of buying one? You'll have to wait a long time because over 650,000 people have pre-ordered the Cybertruck. The name of the new facility is certainly ear-catching, but what does it mean? Terra Factory is named after the production of energy it would put out through making its Tesla batteries, which could be over one 
terawatt hour. For anyone who isn't an engineer, here's how it's broken down. Start with 1 watt, a unit of measurement for energy. 100 watt hours powers the average light bulb for an hour. 1 terawatt hour is 1 trillion watt hours. To put it in perspective, the amount of energy used by the entire planet is 15 terawatt hours. This amount of energy production is surreal and could be the answer to sustainable energy. In fact, Musk is quoted saying that if there were 100 gigafactories around the world, then we as a population would be able to live off that energy. After years of speculation, the Terra factory is being built and along with it two revolutionary trucks. The unique designs of either truck tell us that we don't have to wonder what the future will look like because it's already here. I don't know how Elon Musk and Tesla are going to top this, but I do know that they will try.